Welcome to Great Online Training series on Pharmacovigilance Interview Questions and Answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as Pharmacovigilance Trainer for Great Online Training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In our earlier couple of videos, we are preparing on the expectedness or the labeling or the listedness assessment. So in that uh, scenario only, the interviewers can ask you about the few examples of the case scenarios like when do you consider the known events as unlisted? In this video, we are going to prepare an answer for this interview question like when do we consider the known events as unlisted? So known events means uh, the event is already there in the RSA document which is reference safety information. But there will be few situations where we will consider the events which are already there in the RSA documents also as an unlisted or unlabeled or unexpected events. So this might be the one of the interview question you might face uh, in the expectedness assessment scenarios. So for this you need to answer like if the adverse event from the ICSR case is, is already documented in the appropriate section of the RSA document, however, not consistent with the nature, severity, outcome and specificity, then we will consider that event as unlisted. So these are the four things you need to mention, like when the event's nature, the event severity or the outcome or the specificity are different or are not consistent with the reported adverse event term, then we will consider that known event as unlisted event. So for example, like if the reported event is extreme fatigue, but the RSA include only fatigue, then the reported event of extreme fatigue will be considered as not consistent with the available information in the RSA in terms of the severity because severity of the event extreme fatigue is different compared to the normal fatigue and also another example of like if facial rash is present in the RSA document but our case has the event of generalized rash then we will consider that event of generalized rash as not as unlisted uh, under the criteria of the change in the specificity because the our RSA document include only facial rash but the reported information or the reported event is a generalized rash. So these are the, these are the few examples for your understanding but for this question you need to answer with these four points of nature, severity, outcome and specificity. Hope you like this video and if you have any questions you can ask us from the comment section below and we will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.